I'm Rebecca Brand and I'm in Hawaii. I'm on the island of Oahu. I'm in a very special garden, a magical garden called the Haiku Gardens. It's one of the many places I saw on my trip to Oahu. I'm in the town of Kaneohe now. It's beautiful, it rains a lot. Come see my journey. One of my favorite things I do that I learned how to do in Hawaii is to ride an electric bike. And today I'm in Lanikai on the Lanikpu route all through this great neighborhood. And this is my view. Those islands are Mokanui. Look at how beautiful the ocean is. Look at that blue. It's amazing. It's a perfect day. I'm having the best time. Holly Eva Jones. It's a great restaurant and you can only get in by waiting. Um, great food here and it's in this beautiful garden. It's called Kaiku Gardens. All around here it's a lot of green and everything is really lush and green. I'm so excited. We're going to walk down and look. During the wait to the restaurant, you take this path down and you can go hang out, wait for your table while you're under the canopy of trees and in this forest, this beautiful Hawaiian forest. It's a great place for photo opportunities. It's so beautiful, it feels like a movie set. What a lush lawn. Looks like they have a little tea house over there. Then there's the restaurant above, right up there. And it looks like it's gonna rain soon. And there's a lush border of beautiful flowers, tropical plants right against the little lake. That's reflective of the borders and even of the restaurant. The path has a lot of ferns. It almost looks like a Tarzan jungle where you can go from rope to rope of the vines hanging from the trees. Wouldn't that be fun? And in these gardens, you can see the beautiful lake and all the beautiful flowers and the foliage. And this tree, which is, is a whole lot of designs in Hawaii, is called the Monstera. And I'm at the base of a banyan tree. It's probably about 150 years old. And I made another discovery here. That is a bamboo tree. Check that out. Check how fat and thick the trunks of that bamboo is. That's amazing. I've never seen bamboo that fat in my life all the fun things you see on this trip to Hawaii. And the flowers here are amazing. I wanna show you this one that I got really close and smell. It smells like a gardenia. I'm gonna to have to find out what kind of plant that is. It's beautiful overlooking this gorgeous lake. This is Hallie David Joe's outside double up. It's big enough for two or three. And I hear it's a specialty drink of the house. I'm gonna try it. A lot of rum, guava. It's good. And I want to thank my sponsor for this video, Anna Luisa, who gave me all this jewelry that I just love more than everywhere on my trip. When the Anna Luisa jewelry arrived, I couldn't wait to open them. I took them out of the box and they all came in these really pretty pouches. And those pouches would be great for presents too. I opened them up and was so excited to see the earrings I'd ordered. This style is the Chelsea and it's 14 karat gold on brass with freshwater pearls. I love the Anna Luisa gold coin earrings. They're called Michelle earrings. I love it. I love the shimmer of this Donna earring. I think it's really sexy looking. Make sure you click the link in the description box so you can choose and pick out your favorite Anna Luisa jewelry. I know you'll love all this jewelry. And by the way, everything on the website is 20% off if you click the link in the description box. And the little poopas. This is the coconut shrimp. The dining room is so beautiful here. All open, tiki torches. And the end of the night, the beautiful tiki torches and the beautiful lights all through. It's a great way to walk out, hit the beach, and do your last homage to Hawaii for a great night out. And at this part of my trip, I'm going into the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, built in 1927. The banyan trees and the birds singing. I'm so excited, I'm going here for lunch. And this is the lobby. 
as you walk in. All right, to that side goes straight to the beach. And that goes out to a beautiful lawn area. And in their lobby, they have an amazing historic map as a piece of art of Hawaii and the Hawaiian Islands. Wow, look at that. And gorgeous paintings on every elevator floor. And all the doors in the hotel are hand carved from Hawaiian woods. And right outside, there's all these chairs. You can just sit there and look at the gardens. And look at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel from this angle. The majesticness of it, amazing. This was a time where they were building hotels for travelers back in the early 20s, 1927. Santa Barbara had the Biltmore built, and here in Hawaii, they had the Royal Hawaiian built. Because there's a whole class of luxury travelers at the time. It was the thing to do. And that exit takes you out to a beautiful lawn where you might want to have a picnic or sit under the banyan tree. What a pretty perspective of the hotel. And that pink color, it's iconic. And here at the Moana Hotel, that is the most famous banyan tree in Hawaii. This is the first hotel built in Hawaii. It's beautiful. It's a colonial style hotel. They've certainly <laughs> uh, readdressed the interior design since it was built, but it has the columns and a lot of the old decor. You get the feeling of how old it was. The historic pictures of Hawaii on the wall. So I guess these two hotels are the competing hotels of Hawaiian history. And this is world famous Waikiki Beach. There's Diamond Head. And the Royal Hawaiian Beachside. Haul the umbrellas to go right to the water. And I'm going to the Honolulu Museum of Art with my ballot ID and my vaccination card. And this is an exhibition of the Koa wood, K-O-A wood, from early days in Hawaii. And this is mango wood. And from a single plank from the tree, they would make a surfboard intended for ocean use. And this room is a modern art room in the Honolulu Museum. And this painting was painting during World War II, and you see the Hawaiian woman with the gas masks, and they had sewn little children gas masks with bunny hoods to make them more fun during the war. Bright and beautiful as that painting is, it has a message. Ambrose Peterson painted this painting of Mount Kilauea, an active volcano. He did a lot of subjects of this. This is fire of the active volcano, Kilauea, which was erupting for a long time, 1916 in Hawaii. And in the museum, is this great statue of Frank Nicholas Otimas, a small replica of King Kamehameha. And off to the right is a quilt. The Hawaiians are known for their beautiful quilts. And this is a classic design, an early quilt, 1900s. Jules Tavernier painted this painting of the eruptions in Hawaii in the late 1880s. And this room is the Indonesian art carvings. This is 17th century or earlier. And this is a wing of all the Chinese art. Buddhism with information on the spread of Buddhism and with the Buddha. And this statue is from the seventh century. And here's Japanese art from the 9th century. What a collection. And here at Duke's, we've got bands that sing. We've got the sunset, except the sunset tonight is behind a cloud. But this is world famous Duke's. What a great place for great drinks, great atmosphere with Diamond Head way over there in the distance 
beautiful time today. Everybody's so happy, having such a good time with their family and friends. What a great time to be in Hawaii. One of the really fun things about Dukes is all the historic photographs of Duke, the famous surfer. Look at him on his surfboard. It's such a walk back in time to Hawaii culture. And this is our beautiful table. Look at this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that view. Thank you so much for the table. Oh, beautiful. And this is the grounds of the National Cemetery of the Pacific. It's called the Punch Bowl, about 150 acres. Much of it dedicated to the fallen whose bodies were never recovered. And on each side of the walkway are the walls of the names of the people whose bodies they couldn't find, all the soldiers, and they've written them on those walls. This tourist site of Pally Road was constructed in 1898 and has come up about 2,000 feet above the Pacific Ocean. And you can come here and walk around and just drink in all of those waters. And in Hawaii, look out for wild chickens. They're everywhere. There's a little brood of them. And I stayed at the Outrigger Hotel with my girlfriend who's doing a lot of the camera work here. And that is the beautiful ocean. What a view. You can hear the waves going, the catarangs down there. All the people on the surfboards just hanging out. I can't wait to get in that water. And the bathrooms are great. Got everything you need, even a coffee pot. It's a traditional hotel in Hawaii with a walk-in closet. Yay! But one of my favorite things to do in Hawaii is just to relax. And right on the road, we found this little fruit stand. And those ice-cold coconuts really caught my eye. And then I'm going to have coconut to drink. I stopped at the stand along the way, and she's cutting off the top. It's delicious. Cheers. And at this roadside stand, they're feeding a whole covey. These are Java doves. <laughs> and I found it for the macadamia nut tree. And here is it growing on the tree. It comes in a little piece like this. On the ground here is one that has fallen from the tree. And the rooster's telling me I'm in the right place. This is it. But you have to crack it open and it takes 300 pounds of pressure to open one of these to get to the nut inside. And from the tree, you gotta get to the vintage macadamia nut husker. How does this work? So this is actually an older faction macadamia nut cracker. So you can take the nut, put it in there. Right in there? Yep. Okay. And then real quick, Along the trail that takes you to Waimea Falls are all kinds of signs telling you what you're looking at in the plants. Almost to the Wailili Waterfall in Waimea Valley. And from the walk, about 30 minutes, I made it to Waimea Falls of the Waimea Valley. The Wailili was just a name for a waterfall. And Waimea means reddish water. The waterfalls for Hawaii were the freshwater source. So they had fresh water while they lived by the sea. And as you arrive at the falls, you're able to rent swimming gear, life vests, and then you get to have your turn swimming in this little pool. And after all the walking and hiking, how beautiful to see the waterfall and hear it flow. And as much as I want to explain to you what I'm seeing and give you as much video as I can, it's like you've got to be here to experience it. I'm Rebecca Brand. Thanks for watching this video and aloha, Oahu, Hawaii.
Click link below if you want to see more of Anna Luisa's jewelry. I love it. I hope you do too. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that's great. And ring the bell to get notified of my next video. Let's keep making great recipes in life. And this trip is a recipe for beauty and lots of relaxation.